hello viewers i welcome you all from hld tech channel today we are going to cover a very simple video because uh, many users on my uh, channel are searching this video uh, maybe they are beginners because it's a very basic level video that is uh, how we can create an entity in a dynamic crm okay uh, so it's quite easy because uh, entities are uh, the most common element of dynamic crm and dynamic uh, and entity contains various attributes and fields we can say they are attributes so we can also name them as fields so uh, these attributes are of different data type and they contain uh, records okay uh, within an entity there are attributes because uh, uh, let me show you this is an induction is an entity uh, if i click on induction this is an entity and in this entity these are attributes okay these attributes have different types uh, of uh, data types uh, they may be of uh, drop down that is choice they may be of single line of text they may be of numeric value they may be of uh, choice and uh, different type of elements okay so uh, let's start uh, it's a uh, very easy to create a new entity that is we will go into settings customizations and customize the system in customization of the system here you can see that there are different components here in uh, in these components first of the first component is entities if we ex uh, expand entities you can see that there are various entities that are uh, there in the system and uh, if i select on entities here you can see that uh, there are uh, two types of entities the first one is custom uh, sorry system entity system entities are those entities that are created at the time of uh, the system creation and uh, they are used for some uh, system related tasks and these uh, and there are some uh, custom entities okay custom entities are those entities that are created by you so whenever you want to create a new entity it's quite simple in entity you will click on new and you will name it as a, a display name okay so uh, so uh, here we will name it as display name products you will name it as product detail this will be the display name of the entity that is the plural name ownership okay entity has different types of ownership that is it may be an owned by a user or a team or it may be owned by an organization if it is owned by an organization its scope is up to all of the business units and it can be accessed there but if it is accessed uh, owned by a user or team then it's uh, scope will be limited to that particular uh, team or user okay so uh, this is the areas that uh, in which area the it will display uh, the entity here i am going to show you this is the area hrm settings and sales and uh, it's showing you that in which area you want to show that entity right now i want to show it in hrm okay and after that i'm going to click on save the entity has been saved you can see that there are options of uh, update icons manage properties publish we will publish it uh, for uh, making it visible in my that area that is hrm so before going into uh, publishing let me show you that how many uh, what are the fields or attributes in a entity if i click on fields you are noticing that this is a new entity but right now it doesn't cre uh, it contains a lot of uh, you know attributes uh but i haven't created any ent uh, attribute right now that is custom so if i click on uh, all here you can see that there are many uh, attributes that are created by default whenever an entity is created so these are uh, actually the system related attributes and they are used for uh, by the uh, crm itself for calculation of various items for example created by created on created on behalf by modified by modified on and uh, various other things okay so these are uh, those attributes that can be used by uh, you for calculating anything but they are created by the system by default and they cannot be deleted okay so if you will delete them it will create some uh, problem in entity so it always recommended that you do not delete them okay so after that uh, now you want to create a new uh, field or attribute in an entity you will click on uh, in fields uh, you will click on new you will name it as uh, let's say i name it as type 
uh, field required may be business recommended or business required if it is required then it cannot be left uh, empty similarly searchable yes or not i want to no, do not make it uh, searchable field security can be enabled okay if you enable the field security uh, then you can apply a uh, different type of uh, access level to that values i have already compiled a video of field security in my uh, channel you can just go into my channel playlist dynamic crm and you can search the field security profile i have already uh, keep uh, a detailed video of this video so uh, after that the most important thing is that attributes contain are of different data type these are available types of uh, data types in uh, crm for uh, setting the values it can be a single line of text option set multiple selection uh, option set two options image whole number floating point decimal currency multiple lines of text date and time lookup and customer so if i click on uh, option set you can define various options here let's say i uh, define first value as item one you uh, all of these that you are defining here are uh, can further be selected by drop down menu okay so after that as soon as i create uh, this entity uh, attribute i will click on save okay now uh, this has been saved now uh, once uh, all fields are saved i will click on publish for publishing i will uh, go to that pin page i will refresh the page and go into that particular module where you can see that uh, my uh, new uh, entity that is product details is now visible here i will click on product details and here you can see that only two basic elements are shown here this is actually the view uh, that is available for any entity okay uh, view contains multiple attributes that can be added or deleted in a view so uh, let's uh, also work on uh, see the view here uh, this is the views and now since we are right now seeing the active product views okay these are views i am seeing the active product details so if i click on uh, if i uh, go and click on this view that is active product details here you can see that only two columns are visible that is same as this one okay that is one is name and the second is created on okay so you can add or remove columns here i am going to add one more column here that i created that was type i will select this option and click okay now you can set these values set the order of preference for example i want to make this column available after name and created on should be on the last then i will select this and move it towards this side similarly you can also add multiple columns here whichever you want for example i want to select uh, order modified on modified date and uh, status uh, you can add different type of uh, available attributes from this uh, option to the view after that you will click on save and close and uh, after uh, clicking on save and close you will uh, publish the customizations so that your changes may change may take effect so now if i refresh the page here you can see that uh, the view is now containing multiple uh, attributes or fields here okay so if i click on new uh, here you can see that uh, in new still there is only one option so uh, again going into the views now one more thing is that now you are working on a form okay these are forms this is a view form that is the main form and if i click on new record a new form will be uh, available so these forms are uh, can be seen here in a forms module so in forms module if i click on main form here you will see that this is a main form in which only name and owner is available let me show you here this is a main form in which name and owner is available i want to add type as well so what i will do i will drag and simply drag and drop here and i will click on save and publish the customizations similarly you can add multiple uh, attributes from uh, available options to that form and now if i uh, refresh the page here you will see that now uh, type will also be available and uh, type will contain all those values that i defined in a choice menu so these are the basics of creating a entity and how you can interact with that views and how you can uh, add various fields in a form so in this way you can add entity add it in as area that is this one and then you can uh, create various type of views on that things 
so this is all about uh, basics of how to create an entity if you want to see the details that is how you can set field security profiles how you can create views how you can enable uh, security roles how you can grant access to that uh, uh, various users and teams navigate to my channel list there are a lot of videos regarding dynamic crm and i hope so that you will get maximum benefit from those videos so viewers i thank you all for watching this video and subscribe my channel and enjoy watching more videos